Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, and on today's episode, we're gonna show you five steps how you can master the open turn. That's breaststroke and butterfly and in the IM. If you're looking at how to learn how to do a freestyle flip turn where you do a somersault, make sure you check out our instructional video, Whiteboard Wednesday, linked in the description below. This video, we're talking about the open turn, right? What is the open turn? It's where you change directions at the wall when you're doing a short axis stroke or the individual medley. So you're not doing a somersault. You're touching the wall with two hands, breaststroke and butterfly. So this actually happens in a number of different competitive events, not only from breaststroke to breaststroke, but also butterfly to butterfly. In the individual medley, when you go from butterfly to backstroke, as well as from breaststroke to freestyle. So there's five steps and we're gonna walk through them step by step. The first step in doing an open turn is to touch with two hands. In breaststroke and butterfly, According to the rules of swimming, it is required that you touch both hands simultaneously at the wall. Unlike freestyle and backstroke where you have a one hand finish or you can touch with the wall and then turn around with only one hand, in breaststroke and butterfly, you have to finish to the wall in two hands. So that's how we approach the wall with a two hand touch, it's required. And make sure you're touching underneath the surface of the water. When you're just learning how to do an open water turn, it's okay to get used to grabbing the top of the wall, but you don't wanna to get too comfortable and used to that because it'll actually slow you down. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So first step, two hand touch right under the surface of the wall, under the surface of the water. And step two and three actually happen almost at the same time. Step two is to bring your knees into your chest. So your body is essentially flat on top of the water with two hands touching the wall, and you're gonna bring your knees, you're gonna activate your core, and you're gonna bring your knees into the wall. At the same time, you're gonna drop your elbow to the side. And it depends on your preference, if you drop your right arm or your left arm, but you're gonna drop your elbow to the side, opening up your chest. Make sure to keep your body compact and low to the water. So you're bringing your knees to your chest, and you're dropping your elbow at the same time. Step two and three are about at the same time. And an easy way to remember this is knees to the chest and then you elbow your brother, next step, and then you're gonna call your mother. So the goal here is to keep your body as low to the surface of the water and not pull your body up towards the wall. That's why grabbing the wall can actually be a bad habit because it can actually encourage you to pull yourself to the wall. If you wanna have a really fast open turn, you actually wanna stay far away from the wall. So as you drop your elbow back to open your chest and you elbow your brother, your opposite arm should actually remain straight and flat on the water, as straight as possible. And then once your body is sinking back, you're gonna call your mother and you're gonna bring your, el you're gonna bend your arm and bring your hand to the opposite hand so that you can eventually meet in streamline. Now it's really important that when you touch the wall with two hands and you drop that one elbow down to elbow your brother, you keep the opposite arm straight and flat at the wall so that way your body doesn't drift in too close or fall off of the wall. A big mistake a lot of swimmers make is they touch the wall with two hands and then they turn their entire body at the wall and then push off, right? That's really, really slow. You're trying to make your body as compact as possible at the wall and you do that by two hand touch, elbow your brother, call your mother, and then you push off in streamline when you connect your hands together. And you actually push off on your side and you carry that momentum to rotate back onto your stomach. You don't need to touch the wall with two hands, do a full 180 degree rotation, touch to streamline, and then push off. We wanna teach your body to be really, really compact and really small in the water, okay? So once we've nailed the five steps on how to do an open water, an open turn, there's a few tips that we wanna keep in mind. So let's keep it simple. It's really easy to overcomplicate this process. If you see a swimmer do this uh, that's really, really fast, it looks really intimidating because so many things are going on at the same time. What they're really doing is this five step process just really, really efficiently. You can actually break it down to only three steps. If you think about it, step one is the two hand touch. Step two is to elbow your brother. And then step three is to call your mother, right? Step one, two hand touch, elbow your brother, call your mother, right? It's only three steps. Keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it. 
The next tip is to stay low in the water and away from the wall. You've already touched the wall. You don't need to swim any extra to get to the wall to take a bigger breath, right? Stay low to the water, keep your chin right on the surface, and you really shouldn't rotate onto your side. The whole point of bringing your knees to your chest and then dropping your elbow back is to open up your chest, but you're not turning your body, right? Keep your head looking at the wall. Your chin should be right on the surface of the water. And as you sink back, you should actually see your hand come back towards your face as if you're calling your mother, right? Never forget to call your mother. Uh, the next tip is to practice not grabbing the wall. We talked about this. You don't want to grab the wall. It's a bad habit. When you're just learning, it can help you get support uh, of practicing on the wall and really get that leverage. But the more uh, accomplished swimmer you become and the more experience you get at doing an open turn for breaststroke and butterfly, you want to train your body not to grab the wall. In fact, a lot of pools around the world don't even have a wall to grab. And if you look at an international competition like the FINA World Championships or the Olympics, the touchpad takes up the entire wall and actually goes above the water. So there actually isn't anything to even grab onto. You have to touch the wall right under the surface of the water and really focus on using your momentum into the wall to push you out of the wall. Uh, and that's the next step, use momentum, speed, right? So when you're learning, you don't have to go so fast. You can break it down, float on the wall, practice dropping your elbow down, bring your knees into the wall. But the faster you get and the more accomplished swimmer you become, you learn to leverage the wall as a speed acceleration tool, right? So the fastest you'll ever swim is when you push off the wall. So make sure you don't slow down and decelerate coming into the wall. You wanna be into the wall fast, out of the wall fast, really push off the wall with a lot of power and hold your streamline. And the way you can do that is by entering the wall, entering the turn with as much speed as possible, and then using the wall to catapult you and launch you off into the next length of your race. Now, there are a few drills that you can do to practice the open water turn. The first drill is simply doing the floating open turn, right? So you can do this two ways. The easier way is you float right at the surface of the wall and you practice while you're floating and your arms are at the wall, you practice just doing the turn, basically step two through five. So you're already at the wall touching with two hands and then you bring your knees in, drop the elbow, call the mother and then push off and streamline. It's a really explosive uh, movement and you can practice that at the wall. You can also practice that just floating in the middle of the lane with absolutely no momentum. And if you can get yourself used to doing the turn with zero momentum while you float on top of the water, when you do it with momentum and you actually have the wall to leverage, you're gonna feel a lot more confident and a lot faster. It's a little bit more advanced drill. Uh, there's also a breath control drill where you can, instead of doing a turn that's open, you can do a somersault at the wall if you're doing breaststroke, or butterfly, and while this doesn't actually practice the mechanics of the turn itself, it teaches you how to go into oxygen debt and get used to that feeling of not having a lot of air. So that way, when you do get to doing an open turn, you're not dependent on the air that you need to breathe, and you can go right into the pullout or the underwater dolphin kick uh, without a lot of oxygen. So that's a little bit more advanced drill. You can do breaststroke into the wall, do a somersault, push off, do the pullout, and it'll teach your body how to swim and how to do that breakout without having a lot of oxygen and not waste a lot of time breathing on the wall. You're allowed to breathe when you do a two-hand touch. You're allowed to breathe in breast and butterfly, but you don't want to waste too much time sitting at the wall, <gasps> taking a huge breath in. You want to go right into the next, into the next turn. Um, and finally, you can practice turning on your non-dominant side, meaning if you get comfortable turning onto your right side or onto your left side, that's okay, you'll get a lot better at it and that'll be the turning side that you'll use in a race and when you're fatigued, but you can work on the mechanics and really engage your mind in the process of doing an open water turn by turning onto your non-dominant side. It's really gonna make you think about what you're doing and you won't get lazy because you actually have to think about the mechanics of, okay, touch with two hands, drop your elbow, bring your knees in, call the mother, and then push off and streamline. And by doing it on your non-dominant side, you'll engage your mind in a way that you weren't able to do that uh, by doing it on the side that you're most used to. So that's a quick uh, over overview of how you can do an open turn for breaststroke and butterfly and the individual medley. It's a simple five-step process. Don't make it more complicated than you need to. Two-hand touch, elbow your brother, call your mother, into streamline. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them in the comments of this video. Also check out how to do a freestyle somersault flip turn for freestyle and backstroke. 
also linked in the descriptions. And until next time, I wish you the best and happy swimming. Bye.